Sir Herman Bondi, the 1st of November 1919 to the 10th of September 2005, was an Anglo-Austrian mathematician and cosmologist. He is best known for developing the steady state theory of the universe with Fred Hoyle and Thomas Gold as an alternative to the Big Bang theory. He contributed to the theory of general relativity. Early life Bondi was born in Vienna, the son of a medical doctor. He was brought up in Vienna, where he studied at the Real Gymnasium. He showed early prodigious ability at mathematics, and was recommended to Arthur Eddington by Abraham Frankel. Frankel was a distant relation, the only mathematician in the extended family, and Hermann's mother had the foresight to engineer a meeting between her young son and the famous man, knowing that this might be the key to enabling him to follow his wishes and become a mathematician himself. Eddington encouraged him to travel to England to read the mathematical tripos at Trinity College, Cambridge. He arrived in Cambridge in 1937, escaping from antisemitism in Austria, realizing the perilous position of his parents in 1938. Shortly before the Anschluss, he sent them a telegram telling them to leave Austria at once. They managed to reach Switzerland, and later settled in New York. In the early years of World War II, he was interned on the Isle of Man and in Canada as a friendly enemy alien. Other internees included Thomas Gold and Max Peretz. Bondi and Gold had been released by the end of 1941, and worked with Fred Hoyle on radar at the Admiralty Signals establishment. He became a British subject in 1946. <laughs> <laughs> Career Bondi lectured in mathematics at the University of Cambridge from 1945 to 1954. He was a Fellow of Trinity 1943–9 and 1952–4 In 1948 Bondi, Hoyle and Gold formulated the steady-state theory, which holds that the universe is constantly expanding but matter is constantly created to form new stars and galaxies to maintain a constant average density. Steady-state theory was eclipsed by the rival Big Bang theory with the discovery of the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB. Bondi was one of the first to correctly appreciate the nature of gravitational radiation, introducing Bondi radiation coordinates, the Bondi K calculus, the notions of Bondi mass and Bondi news, and writing review articles. He popularized the sticky bead argument which was said to be originally due, anonymously, to Richard Feynman, for the claim that physically meaningful gravitational radiation is indeed predicted by general relativity, an assertion which was controversial up until about 1955. A 1947 paper revived interest in the lemaitre talman metric, an inhomogeneous, spherically symmetric dust solution often called the LTB or lemaitre talman bondi metric. Bondi also contributed to the theory of accretion of matter from a cloud of gas onto a star or a black hole, working with Raymond Littleton and giving his name to Bondi accretion and the Bondi radius. He became a professor at King's College London in 1954, and was given the title of Emeritus Professor there in 1985. He was Secretary of the Royal Astronomical Society from 1956 to 1964. Other work Bondi was also active outside the confines of academic lecturing and research. He held many positions. Director General of the European Space Research Organization (ESRO) 1967 to 1971, which later became the European Space Agency (ESA). Chief Scientific Advisor to the Ministry of Defense (1971 to 1977). Chief Scientific Advisor to the Department of Energy (1977 to 1980). Chairman of the Natural Environment Research Council (NERC) 1980 to 1984. President of the Society for Research into Higher Education 1981 to 1997. President of the Hydrographic Society 1985 to 1987. Master of Churchill College, Cambridge 1983 to 1990. He became a fellow of the Royal Society in 1959. He made a series of television programs called E equals Mc2 for the BBC in 1963. He was appointed a Knight Commander of the Bath in 1973. 
He was awarded the Einstein Society Gold Medal in 1983, the Gold Medal of the Institute of Mathematics and its Applications in 1988, the G.D. Birla International Award for Humanism, and the Gold Medal of the Royal Astronomical Society in 2001. He was awarded an honorary degree Doctor of Science by the University of Bath in 1974. His report into the flooding of London in 1953 led eventually to the building of the Thames Barrier. He also supported the proposal for a Severn barrage to generate electricity, but this project was not carried forward. His papers from 1940 to 2000 are archived in 109 archive boxes by the Janus Project. Topic. Personal life His parents were Jewish, but he never felt the need for religion, and was a lifelong humanist. He was president of the British Humanist Association from 1982 to 1999, and president of the Rationalist Press Association from 1982. He was one of the signers of the Humanist Manifesto. He married Christine Stockman, also a mathematician and astronomer. In 1947, she had been one of Hoyle's research students, and like him, she went on to be active in the humanist movement. Together, they had two sons and three daughters, one of whom is Professor Liz Bondi, feminist geographer at the University of Edinburgh. He died in Cambridge in 2005, aged 85, and his ashes were scattered at Anglesey Abbey near Cambridge. Christine died in 2015. Topic. References and notes Topic. External links Christina Sormani, C. Denson Hill, Pavel Narofsky, Lydia Bieri, David Garfinkel, and Nicholas Younes August 2017. A two-part feature, The Mathematics of Gravitational Waves. PDF. Notices of the American Mathematical Society. American Mathematical Society. 64 07, 684-707. ISSN 1088-9477. CS1 maint, uses author's parameter link.